Hey guys, this is Voltage, and welcome to my web browser. Or whatever. In my last When the World Stopped Making Sense video, somebody commented and requested a walkthrough of how to install When the World Stopped Making Sense, so I decided to, well, do that. This will cover basically how to install any mods that are on the Paradox forums. For those of you who are unaware, the Paradox forums are basically the official way to get mods. You have to have an account on the forums and register your game with Paradox in order to access the mod forum. Otherwise, this area will appear empty. Now, as for how to install When the World Stopped Making Sense. Go to When the World Stop Making Sense's subforum inside the modding subforum. Yes, that it can be a bit confusing, but some of the larger mods have their own sub forums within the subforum. Then go to whatever sticky has the release up at the top. There are other threads in the forum for older releases, but why would you want the older ones unless you're doing something very specific? Click the download button. This will take you to Mediafire. Download the zip file. And close the stupid ads. This gives you a zip file that you download, obviously. So, download that. Open the containing folder. Click Extract Files. Navigate to the Crusader Kings folder in your documents. Or, actually, that's my old... That's, my, that's not my documents. That is my... Well, backup of my files. Go through into your documents. Find the... Ah, now I'm in my pro... Yeah, users. Documents. Scroll down to the Paradox Interactive folder in your documents. Open Crusader Kings. Ignore this. This folder is not normally here. What the heck? What just happened? Gah, I got sent back to my desktop again. Okay, delete that. Yeah. I'm going to... Go to Users. My Documents. Paradox Interactive. Crusader Kings. Ignore this folder. It was it's not normally there. Also, any mods you have installed that have their own save directories have their own folders. There needs to be a folder in here. And I got navigated back here again. Wonderful. I don't want to be back here. I want the folder in documents. Go to Paradox Interactive, Crusader Kings, and make a folder, if it's not already there, titled Mod. Extract the resulting files from the zip file to that folder. 
I am using WinRAR, but since it's a zip file, you can do this with just Windows. This takes a while in the case of when the world stopped making sense because it's a big mod. As you can see here, it's just going through the extractions and grabbing a bunch of files. For those of you who have never messed with modding, right now what it's doing is it's running through... Never mind. It was... What I was trying to say was that it was running through the various titles that exist. Okay, once you have that extraction done, go into this mod folder. Go to When the World Stopped Making Sense, which is now a folder inside the mod folder. That should not be a mod. I mean, that folder should not be there. Normally. Go into that folder. Click Highlight Everything and click Cut. Now, paste all of those files into the mod folder itself. Now, if I go back into this folder, it's empty because I cut the files out. Delete that folder to get rid of it. And I'll come back to you once I open Crusader Kings. Okay, after doing that, you can see that now in my mod tab, there are five different modules here. In the case of When the World Stopped Making Sense, there is the main module, which is, well, When the World Stopped Making Sense. Everything that's gameplay affecting in the mod. And then there are all of... These subdirectories or whatever, I'm not sure what you would call these, modules or whatever. Each of these basically gives you portraits based on DLC you own. Like, this one should only be checked if you have the African portraits. This one should only be checked if you have the Celtic portraits. This one should only be checked if you have the Norse portraits. And this one should only be checked if you have the Turkish and Celtic portraits. Um, I'm not sure why there are two Celtic things here. It's probably just an oversight from splitting those two up, but if I were to click to launch the game right now, it would load up with when the world stopped making sense. So, there you go. That applies to basically every mod in the Paradox Interactive forums. Though some things may be different for other mods, depending on the file format that you download it from on the forum. Like, some are in a zip file, some are in a rar file, some are in a 7-zip file, and so on. So, this has been a really sucky tutorial of how to install mods for Crusader Kings 2 based on the Paradox Interactive forums. This is Voltage, signing off.